Hi guys, welcome to this video. I am on the riser system, so an SSD, and I've used the riser ISO to have this. In the virtual box, I have a riser ISO, so that's why you see these two lines. This is the real machine, the host, and this is the guest. So let's full screen this thing. Topic of the video is, let's have a look, this that that thing is called Plymouth after this video I'll add Plymouth to our repo right Plymouth so it's on the AUR and I'll, I'll, I'll put both of them the git version as well and there's lots and 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 lots of themes, right? Plymouth theme. So that's a better word if you want to change the theme. Yay, Plymouth dash theme. Let's see at the number. Scroll up. And we're talking about 134 themes. So I've chosen to have the mono somewhere in there. It says installed. It was number 14 or something like that. So somewhere in here it says it's um, here, mono arch installed. It's number eight. So what did I do? This works, by the way. I didn't know it this worked after five years, right? Plymouth and then arch, I think. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh no, sorry. Um, and then, then I did a grab. I thought, would that work? And even install it something like that, Plymouth Arch. And I got all the list of all the arches with a number. I thought, huh? will this work? So here it's number eight with these um, words, with these, these search terms, eight, and then one, and then enter, and it installs <laughs> with the grep, right? So that's uh, amazing while well, I'm working. And then I just copy pasted this one over. So that's important for you. The last little bit says Plymouth set default theme minus R and then mono arch the theme that you've installed. So you just go ahead and Plymouth and you see here set default theme. And then you ask the help or the man and then you know that's minus R mono arc. There's an L for the list. So Let's see, minus L, was it minus L, capital L? Voila, those are the guys, and this is the only one that I've installed, all the rest is default. What did I do? I read, can you read? Well, restore session. I went to archlinux.org, Plymouth. And this is a riser, meaning I should skip to the part where it says, if you are on systemd, you should add in the make init cpo.conf after base, after systemd, the sd Plymouth. So systemd Plymouth. Not the Plymouth Plymouth, right? Not that one. That's for grub. All right, so I've changed. So let's see what's open. Sublime, they're still open. I've changed um, this one, which is the bootloader entries arch linux.conf, and I've added this quiet splash VT and so on. Where did I get that knowledge? It says down here that I should copy it. Uh, here, the kernel command line, append quiet, append splash, and append this to the kernel parameters. Now, since I'm not on grub, I have to go to, here it is, right? Boot loader entries archlinks.conf and I've added this behind it. So if there's an option somewhere, you just add it behind it. Inside the make init CPO, again, etc, make init CPO, CPO so this, this thing, I've added SD, uh, system D Plymouth. That's it. Save. All right. And then this one is from older stuff and older stuff. So that's only two files basically that it changed. And then 
I did one thing more, I think, which I don't know, might be mentioned somewhere. I had just the reflex to build everything again. So make init CPO minus capital P. It's gonna make all the boot files. Uh, we'll change it. Now, the once you've installed Plymouth, I think it does that automatically at that point in time. But nevertheless, after all the changes, right? After all this and the kernel, I do a, a rebuild. I do that's the last thing I th did, I think, and I rebooted. And whoa, whoa, right? Whoa, whoa, worked. But doesn't you've seen already the other um, look? I think probably the best way to do or go forward is to go to Plymouth. Um, Sure. We want to see images, right? Plymouth theme. If we do this and go to images, we can have a look at the possibilities and maybe there's a mention of a theme like this one. Plymouth theme dark arc. Okay. So, yay. Plymouth theme dark. Uh, probably arch, not arc. And then we have Plymouth Team Dark Arch of 2015. There's a Solarize thing. There's a Minimal Dark. There's a Minimal Dark Begrut. Deviant Theme. I don't know what at all that is, but we're gonna choose one, right? To just see something else. Because now the fun starts. Once everything is um, well set up, I just change theme. So arrow up. Arrow up, does the list minimal dark, I guess, is the new one, right? Control C. And uh, probably still in there. This one. Control Shift V. Yeah, it gets rebuilt, right? The make init CPO.conf is active now, and the boot folders. Well, the boot folder is going to be changed content of it oh we see it immediately right so let's wait for it is it interesting it's a flash right Pfft, it's there it's gone I mean I'd rather see my services and, and, and see that everything is uh, correct via the boot up screen telling me hey those are problems those are errors or our configuration but now we have this little thing Plymouth I'll just share the knowledge and, and that's it for me uh, it's not my thing but it could be your thing and follow the arch wiki or see some more extra videos but this seems to work anyway on system d right haven't tried it on grub nor are we going to use it on Arclix or alci or kari narrow updates yes i know i've seen it i've seen it here but this is a virtual machine. All right, cheers.